So what is a smoke point when you're seasoning your cast iron and carbon steel pans? Hi, I'm Jed, this is Cook Culture. So today I wanted to talk about smoke point. Smoke point is the point in which your oil starts to smoke. Makes a lot of sense. And different oils have different smoke points. And this is quite fascinating to me because I, when I started to, to use pans years ago, like cast iron and carbon steel, I was under the impression that I had to have a smoke point for the oil to be doing its job. If I didn't have smoke, I didn't have seasoning. So everything I was doing was smoking and blackening. And that's what I thought seasoning was. You get this, the pan as black as you possibly can, as quickly as you can, and seasoning was happening. And I had found, and then talking and working with customers over the years, is that the blacker I got the pan faster, the worse the seasoning was for me as I really tried to use it well. And what I mean by that is that if I went from you know, a, a new pan, either the coming season from the factory like Field or Stargazer, or a Mineral B or Matt Fur that come unseasoned, if I was to get them seasoned black quite quickly, I found that that seasoning can degrade quite quickly. So what that means is that it can peel or be brittle uh, and, and peel off if I, I'm cooking the wrong things. And so my approach changed over time and I started to reduce the heat and season longer, to take longer. And just out of practicality, it started working better for me. And I didn't really think a lot of it and just continue with my method. And as I talked to more and more and more people about problems that they're suffering from, I found that that has become a problem. And so I wanted to get a little bit deeper and understand, okay, well, why is this? And so I spoke to our friend, Dr. Zach Hudson, who is a doctor of polymer science at the University of British Columbia. And he's my go-to guy when I'm like, hey doc, like what chemically is going on here? Why, if I season at too high a heat, do I get a poor seasoning? If polymerization comes with heat, isn't more better? Uh, and why does it smoking seem to be a problematic? But you know, what is this all about? As I create you know, vapor to smoke, like what's happening and why am I getting worse results with higher heat? And he, uh, without doing any rigorous testing, he was explaining to me from his understanding, his, his you know, education of how certain liquids turn into uh, a, a vapor, as they go from a solid to a liquid to a gas, uh, he was saying, you know, certain materials, uh, organic materials, will not turn into a gas. They decompose from a liquid state before they turn into a vapor. And his example also was wood. You know, you take a piece of wood and you heat that wood up and it doesn't turn into a liquid. It will, you know, smoke and portions of it will turn into you know, a, a smoke that you'll see, but it turns into ash instead of going from a you know, solid to a liquid to a gas. And this is what is also happening with oil. You know, it goes from a solid state when it's frozen to a liquid state, mostly at room temperature, and then trying to go to a gas doesn't work. It decomposes and that is its, its smoke point. And so to create the right seasoning, we want to get it to, to bond to the surface at polymerization just before it starts to decompose. So the decomposing of the oil degrades the quality of the oil and leaves us a brittle and fragile seasoning. So this gets a little bit you know, particular where we have to be more kind of careful with our heat. But what I want to show you is the difference between starting to create a bit of a vapor where, where it just starts to hit that smoke point and the polymerization is, is absolutely ideal to where you're burning the oil. And it's, it's decomposing rapidly and it leaves quite a fragile finish. And that fragile seasoning, so you will have a bonded more blackened surface, but it then can become fragile and chip and flake quite easily. And then your seasoning is just never all that good. So the ideal 
surface temperature is what we're trying to get. And some people like to use a thermometer to see where the, the surface temperature of the pan is. I know that 99.9% .9 of people aren't going to have a temperature gun where they're going to measure the surface of their pan. So we're not going to get into surface temperature right now. This is really about the look and feel and getting, getting a sense of it and knowing where a pan is too hot or even knowing where your pan is too cool. So I'm going to take this cast iron pan, this carbon steel pan, get it onto the stove top. We'll put some oil in and we'll watch for the, for the signs of, you know, where the vapor is just starting to create and that polymerization is happening and where we're getting smoke and the oil is decomposing. Okay, so I've got these two pans on the heat, one at a seven, one at an eight. So seven is, you know, getting on the high range. Eight to me that is, so this is seven is a three quarter heat. Um, I would sometimes go to a six on here to season also, but I'm just trying to prove a point here. Eight is, you know, above three quarters, so quite hot. I would usually use our own seasoning paste to do this job, but not everybody's gonna have paste. So grapeseed oil is what I'm gonna use. So some grapeseed oil on the eight, grapeseed oil on the seven, and right away you see some smoke coming off of that guy. So quite a lot of smoke coming there. And when I go around on the seven, we've still got some, some smoke coming, but nothing that is coming quite the same way. So I'll get in there and show you closer. Okay, so as you put that oil on, see the smoking that is coming off of that right away. It's just, you don't need to have that kind of smoke coming off the pan. It's gonna to be too hot and it's degrading the oil quite quickly. So this amount of smoke is more than you need. So when we go over to this pan here and we put on this guy, so you see it doesn't start to smoke quite as quickly. And there's just less bellowing that's coming out of it. So it's still, there is some, some, some vapor coming off of it but it's just not happening so intensively. So I had this guy on an eight, this one on a seven. That's a very small difference in the, the temperature range between them. But the eight was creating a lot more bellowing smoke. The seven had some smoke. I'm not saying there's no smoke here. There is some, but it's not creating a bellow of smoke. So you want to get to that point where you see, you know, the beginning of vapor, some smoke starting to, to leave the pan. You're right at that edge. It's creating some, but you're not just going to a smoke, intense smoke. So it's just that right balance. So I would caution on, on the low side, take, go low to, to begin with and just slowly try to figure out where that point is that it's just hitting that smoke point. You know, you, you want to just kind of keep it just right in below creating real stinky, smelly smoke. And that is going to be your perfect space for creating that seasoning. You'll find that you can leave the oil on for many minutes and it will just kind of sit there and slowly kind of smoke away, but just cook onto the pan and not burn and dry really fast. The burning and drying is going to create a poor seasoning and that nice, even slow and low and slow, you know, method of seasoning is going to create a really nice, perfect bond. So I hope that works really well for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below. Thanks so much.